Hey everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another speed build. I am so excited to be sharing this build with you guys because this is probably my favorite build I have built in a very long time. So we are creating a cottage core family home today in the world of Windenburg. This ends up being a two bedroom, three bathroom house coming in at like 72,000 simoleons. And I'm just really happy with how it came out. I think it came out so incredibly cute. This is one of my favorite styles. I think this aesthetic is so incredibly beautiful beautiful. So I really hope you will enjoy this build. If you do and you would like to download it, it will be available on the Sims 4 gallery and you'll be able to find that under my EAID, which is Griffey, G-R-Y-P-H-I. You can also find it under the hashtag Miss Griffey and that information will also be in the description down below as well. I know the outside of this is coming together so quickly and I cannot wait to tell you all about it. But before that, I did want to tell you all about today's sponsor. Thank you so much to Factor for sponsoring today's video. Use my link or go to go.factor75.com and use code PUGGRIFFY60 for 60% off your first box. Factor delivers fresh, never frozen, chef created, ready-made meals right to your doorstep so there is no prep and no mess. There are 27 meals and 34 add-on options with updated menus every single week. Plus Factor has seafood, veggie, and meat options as well as keto, calorie smart, chef's favorites, vegan, and vegetarian. I often struggle to find time to prep food with my busy schedule but Factor saves so much time with quick two-minute options and so many foods to choose from. It's such a time saver and stress relief. Factor is also flexible and can fit your lifestyle. Meal plans range from four to 18 meals per week and you can add or reduce that number based on your specific needs or even skip a week if needed. So to get started, use my link or go to go.factor75.com and use code POGGRIFFY60 for 60% off your first box. Thank you again to Factor for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to it. So for the outside of this build, I really wanted it to look very cottagey, of course, and and I was thinking to have the top floor overhang the bottom floor and have it kind of held up by some of those roof pieces. But I also ended up doing this very striking chimney piece in the front of the house, which I adore. I think it just looks so nice. I think it's such a cool focal point. And I've done this before, but not super often. And I just think it added a lot to this build. The other thing that I was trying so hard to do with this build, and you'll see me playing around with it quite a bit, I ended up taking out a lot of the footage because it just took me so long to figure out, but I had to keep at least some of it in so you could see a little bit of the struggle. I wanted this house to have a second story entrance. So you enter on the top floor and there was also like a weird glitch with the flooring on the second floor where there was a hole in it and I couldn't get the hole to go away. So I had to figure out where to put it based on that. Uh, but this is the staircase I ended up going with in the end. And I just put like a little tree tucked in there and I think it looks really nice. It just took way too long to figure out how to make this work because it was just looking super awkward. But I think it worked out really nicely in the end. I think the colors ended up being really pretty with this stone. And these are those pieces I had mentioned. I do scale them down uh, because they're a little bit too big right now. But I was kind of trying to go for that exaggerated look at first. Uh, but it's fine. In the end, I thought it looked fine with them being smaller. And those are around the back of the build as well where... They're a little bit more prominent because I don't have a giant chimney in the back of the build like I do on the front, but I love how this looks. I think it just looks so charming and right by the water here in Windenburg. This is one of my favorite lots in Windenburg. It's just surrounded by water on all sides and this world is just stunning anyway. So I was excited to build this here because typically when I build houses that have this sort of roof, I will build them in the world of Henford on Bagley because that's where we got a lot of the roof pieces. So it was just nice to go ahead and build this in this world instead. And of course, using some of the Tudor style wallpapers that came with a get together. Uh, and then here I decided I really wanted to use these big windows from the, oh my goodness, university pack, but I wanted them to have shutters. So I combined some of these shutters together from the uh, snowy escape pack and scaled them down to be little shutters on either side of this window and I thought it looked really nice. I also really wanted to use some of this beautiful flowers that like vine flowers that you can have growing up the sides of buildings. I struggle to use these because they're just really chunky and I feel like I can't make them look natural but I see other people do it all the time other builders so I gave it a go and I combined it with a few other of the vine pieces from various packs and I think it worked out really well in the end. Uh, it just took a little bit of fiddling and experimentation, but that's okay. That's the best way to go ahead and learn and practice uh, to get better at building. So I needed to do quite a bit of that to get this to look okay. 
And of course, I'm scaling up some flowers and moving them around with tool and just trying to figure out the best way to maneuver everything and make it look the way I wanted it to. Because I wanted this lot to feel sort of overgrown, but not messy, if that makes sense. So I'm just playing around with that, figuring out a nice fence at the top for where the front door is going to go. Uh, I wasn't really sure what style I wanted to go for, but I did go with a base game one in the end. I think that was a good decision. Uh, I also got like a little swing set outside, which I adore. I wanted this to be a family home. It's only two bedrooms. So I was thinking there was only one kid in this house, but I had a blast decorating their, their bedroom. Oh my gosh, I can't wait for you to see it. Uh, but the whole interior is super cozy. And one of the ones I'm most proud of, not only the outside, but the interior. And a lot of the times I like one part better than the other. But I think this house just altogether <laughs> is one of my favorites. Uh, and... Uh, it feels good to say that. I get really stuck in building ruts quite often. So when something just comes out just how you wanted it to, it's really exciting and uh, it just feels relieving and just nice, I guess, uh, because I, I really enjoy building, but it can be really frustrating when things are not coming out the way you want them to. And I like to voice that when it happens because I often get comments about how like, um, some of you feel like you're not good at building or you really struggle with figuring things out and placing things and color schemes and floor plans and all of that. But we all struggle with that. And a lot of the times these videos are more of a highlight reel. So I like to talk about how long it takes to get things done because it's it's real and it's part of the process of how we get to what um, the final product is. So anyway, over here, I'm just getting some of these broken down fences in the front. These are from Shalivita Objects with Cottage Living, and they're so pretty. So is that uh, spillover wheelbarrow and all of these mushrooms, the grass pieces I'm going to be placing down. I just, I love that pack so much. I think Cottage Living might be my favorite expansion pack. There's just so many beautiful items with it. The gameplay is so fun. I love the chickens. The chickens are so good. They're so much fun. And so... It's just a overall really fun pack. Although, did I add, I don't think I added any chickens or llamas or cows on this lot, but I did add the stump that the bunnies and the like tree trunk that the birds come out of. So there are some animals on this lot. They're just not like the ones you can own. They're more of the wild animals you can befriend uh, because I wanted to incorporate that and I just love bunnies. And I did spend way too much time while like building this and taking screenshots, just staring at the bunnies and taking photos of them. Uh, so, <laughs> oops, that's just kind of what I do. When I first got access to Cottage Living and I got early access and I streamed some of my footage afterwards, uh, just showing off the, the build or not the build, the showing off the pack. Almost all of my footage was just following bunnies around, watching them be adorable. And I think that represents me pretty well as a person. I am a bunny mom and um, I really wish I could be in The Sims, but I'm just glad they're in the game to begin with now. Like it's, it's just really nice. Anyway, I'm still working on the landscaping out here. I wanted to wrap the fence around. I wanted to get some like stone under uh, the stone pathway in the front and of course just make the landscaping look a little bit more natural by having some of the dirt patches around. I also made sure to have laundry out the back. I hope I remember to put a laundry basket in here. I'm pretty sure I did. I think it's at the bottom of the steps when you get inside. But anyway, when you do walk in the front door, since we're starting to work on the floor plan now, you're going to be in the kitchen and there's a staircase down in the kitchen space, I'm pretty sure, that leads you downstairs. Uh, and then through an archway, you are in the living room and there's an upstairs bathroom as well. So it's a little bit of a weird layout, but I actually love how this came out. And I don't do builds too often where... You enter on the top floor. I have done them before, but it's been a while. So it was really fun to go ahead and do this. I feel like it just made it so it was a little bit more of an interesting build. So I really hope you do enjoy that decision. Let me know if you ever build this way or if you have any other things you would like to see me build. I am feeling so incredibly inspired after TwitchCon and all I want to do is spend time in The Sims. That was probably the longest I have been away from The Sims in a long time because I was gone on the other side of the country for like four days and travel from West Coast to East Coast is a lot. So <laughs> I've been gone and then when I got back, I was just sleeping and now, and now I'm back and I'm awake and I'm just, I am so rejuvenated and ready to uh, get back into some more content. So of course, let me know 
if there's anything you would like to see on the channel, I'd love to uh, incorporate some of those suggestions. Uh, but anyway, downstairs, I'm just working on the floor plan. There ends up being two more bathrooms down here as well as the two bedrooms and a sort of like hangout spot at the top, bottom of the steps that has a big fireplace, which I think is so incredibly cozy. It's just a little bit different than things I normally do. So of course it was fun to go ahead and figure that out. But anyway, we are back upstairs now working on the kitchen, which is in the room you walk into. I love these beautiful windows I have here. And so I wanted to put the stove in the middle of them as like a focal piece. And I used this one from the cottage kitchen, kitchen, cottage kitchen, cottage living, country kitchen. There we go. The country kitchen kit because it just feels like the perfect piece to be there. Uh, so that's what I ended up using there. And then I put a sink under a window over on this side. I changed that window out so many different times because I couldn't decide what I wanted it to look like. Uh, but we get there in the end. And also I used yellow cabinets in here. Counters and cabinets in this beautiful yellow swatch. I just think they're so cheerful and were exactly what this build needed. But I don't think I've ever used them before in this swatch. Or if I have, it's been a really long time. But I thought they were so stunning and... I was just very happy with that decision. I, I often tend to go for like more neutral cabinets or if I use a color, I go for blue because I overuse blue because there's so many good blue swatches in The Sims. Uh, but I was really happy with this yellow. So uh, <laughs> happy to be showing that off. And of course, I have to clutter up the kitchen. We have a bunch of stuff from Parenthood here with the dish rack and the bread box. I really wish I had remembered we had a bread box from the country kitchen kit as well, though, because that one's so cute. But I think this one fit the style I was going for just a little bit better. And then just getting some more like jars and stuff. I also really like the table that I used in this room, which I believe is from, which one did I use? I think I used the one from Laundry Day and the chairs are from Cats and Dogs. Mixing a bunch of different packs in here. This is not limited pack whatsoever, uh, but really trying to get this like homey cottage for a family. It's it's kind of updated and clean, but it still has the charm of a little cottage core cottage. Uh, I think I achieved the style. You can let me know. I was looking at a lot of reference pictures while decorating to make sure I was keeping to the theme because I tend to just kind of go off and do whatever I think looks cute. Uh, but I really wanted this to be that particular style because it is one that I really enjoy and uh, I really hope it came out okay. I love how it came out. I just hope it fits the style <laughs> that I was trying to achieve because sometimes it's really hard to keep a style. Anyway, just getting another painting over here. I really like this one from Cats and Dogs. I just feel like it fits really well with any kind of cottagey build um, because it's outdoorsy and nature and it's just, it's really pretty. So that's mostly it for this kitchen. Getting some of these mason jar lights above the table and then we should be moving on into the living room where I wanted to get another fireplace in here once again from Cottage Living. It's just so pretty and I made sure to get another chimney over on this side of the build to match up where that fireplace is. I often forget to do that and it ends up not being realistic. Either I'll have a chimney outside but no fireplace or vice versa. So I was happy I decided to do that and of course it's a beautiful fireplace inside as well so uh, I decided to use that and I went for a little bit of a more modern look for this living room, but I still feel like it looks super cottagey. I used this couch that came with the Desert Lux kit. It's just so beautiful and I want to use it all the time and it's just a little bit more simple than some of the other couches. I feel like you can really play up and make it super modern or use it in a more traditional setting because it's just such a simple piece. And it looks comfy. It doesn't look rigid and uh, like hard. It just looks like a really cozy couch, but it's also really simple. So I really enjoyed that. And then I used this dresser over here from Cats and Dogs that I thought was just perfect for this space. The like handles on it, the knobs, I just thought looked really beautiful. And of course the lights in here as well. I also used this plant over in the corner that has the pink flowers on it. Something about that I just thought looked like such a nice pop of color in this space. And I actually used two of them and rotated it so it looks a little bit more full. And then I was trying to figure out what chair to put over here. I tried a few different ones. I figured out in the end, uh, but it did take a while. And so I went with this rocking chair. I thought that that would be a really cozy space for your Sims to just like rock back and forth. Of course, it's a nice spot for your Sims to use some knitting. Since that did come with the knitting stuff pack. Um, oh my gosh, why can't I think of what that's actually called right now? Is it just, oh, nifty knitting. I was, I wanted to call it love to knit, to be honest. Um, <laughs> that is not what I voted for, but 
Uh, since it's such a joke that we all call it that, that's what I was thinking of. Anyway, just getting some more clutter on this little table behind the couch and then figuring out what to put over on this wall. I believe I went with this bookcase in the end just because it's a good filler of space and then it's a functional item so your sims can grab some books and stuff. And overall, I just think this living room came out so beautiful in the end. It's one of my favorite rooms in this house. Um, and I put tons of plants throughout, of course. Uh, another item I am going to be placing here shortly is there's this new like rack of logs that came with the werewolves pack so i should be grabbing that here shortly to put next to the fireplace it's so cute and also these fire pokers that we got in base game i just think it adds so much more detail and realism to a home so i was happy to add those and uh yeah that's it for that living room and we're moving on into the bathroom which is really simple uh just using the base game shower tub combo we have this little sink from parenthood i do really like that sink i think it's one of the items i was so excited for when Parenthood first got announced having a sink that looks like that that's just hanging off the wall I just think it's really nice and uh yeah that's it for that bathroom I love the rug I put down in there though with the leaves on it uh here is the laundry basket that I remembered to include uh and then I also have lots of other baskets from other packs I decided to use the trash can that came with high school years and use it as like a a base to put a plant in and we have a little desk space a place to hang out by the fireplace it's just like another cozy living space at the bottom of the stairs uh, and then all the doors lead you into bedrooms and bathrooms uh, I just thought this was a good use of the space and it's super cozy and a little bit different since I typically have the house in the other orientation where you're going upstairs to go to the bedrooms so I liked this little space down here but I'm just decorating this shelf on the wall up above the computer desk uh, this one is from Laundry Day, and I just think it's so cute with all the baskets. There was like a basket theme down here, uh, so I wanted to make sure to incorporate those as well. And then I just thought it was kind of goofy to rotate this arrow with tool to be like, this is where the laundry goes. Uh, so <laughs> that's why I did that. Uh, I think it looks cute in the end. It's kind of strange, but sometimes it's fun to just add little details like that. I also added a cat tree down here and like a pet bed and I should be going back and adding like food bowls and all of that throughout the house. I was thinking it would be cute if they had a cat in this home. I imagine the cat would have a lot of fun running up and down the steps. I know if I had stairs and my cat would be having so much fun with that. My dog too. Uh, but I don't have stairs and I miss my cat so badly. Uh, when I'm recording this, I haven't picked him up yet from my trip, so I'm probably going to be doing that later today, and I cannot wait to see him. Uh, so it, it's kind of like bittersweet seeing me making this home perfect for a cat. So uh, hopefully I'll get him soon. Uh, but anyway, I'm just cluttering up the bedside tables here. We have like a little tray from Tiny Living. I also got some like books and stuff. I wanted it to look lived in, but still really clean and organized. I think I achieved that, but let me know what you think. Uh, I think it looks pretty cozy and clean in here. I love the flooring I used, which is from Cottage Living. I just think it has so much personality. And then I ended up using a base game dresser over here just because I felt like it matched the style. Got a little mirror. Of course, more plants. I just have to put them everywhere in every build. And this one was no exception. And then we're moving on into the kids' room, which I love so much. So I used this bed from Seasons, which is like a canopy bed, but I decided to make it look like it was a built-in with these cabinet pieces and really have a lot of fun with colors. So we have like these pinks and teals going on using some of these uh, beautiful curtains from high school years. I also made this desk. I put a computer on a like island piece and scaled it down and moved it around over here and kind of hid the uh, little island piece underneath with a trash can. I think it came out really cute. I haven't done this in a really long time. Every once in a while I will make like a custom desk piece like this but I thought it worked really nicely in this space since I had the built-in bed. Having the built-in like desk piece just made sense to me to have this be like a really custom room for this kid or teenager. I was kind of thinking teenager maybe like tween age and I have a beautiful bookcase over here with lots of colors and uh, a really cute dresser. Honestly, high school years has some beautiful items that I was excited to be able to use in here. And this wallpaper, this base game like floral wallpaper, I forget it exists, but I think it is so fun and it really reminds me of Boo from Mon uh, Monsters Inc., which I actually watched Monsters Inc. on my flight. 
Uh, <laughs> I hadn't seen it in years. Uh, so it was fun to include that in here and then just getting like a stereo and a little piggy bank, some of these little books and stuff, just some overall bedroom clutter for a teenager and I should be getting a rug in here as well. I just think the colors are so fun and I had a blast decorating this room and a blast building this whole house. I really hope you enjoyed it. We're going to be heading on into screenshots now. If you did like this, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. That really does help me out. You can also subscribe if you haven't already and click that bell to be notified when I upload. Thanks for watching and enjoy the screenshots. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.